Oh dear. I missed the paper entirely. G'day scientists. Today we're reviewing the five in one mechanical coding robot. It's pretty cool because you're learning to code without any apps or computers. It cost me $44.99 from Amazon. Right, let's open it up and take a look. The entire kit is made from plastic, which is not a bad thing if you get lots of reuse. The manual looks super comprehensive. It has lots of pages explaining how the robot works and how to assemble it. The first step of this project is to create the main robot head, which houses the gears and the workings to make the robot do its stuff. All we have to do is simply snip the pieces of plastic out of the frames and assemble them in the order in the manual. We have to use snips for this because we need to make sure that the tiny pieces of burrs are not left on the plastic parts, otherwise it might interfere with the workings of the robot. If you're enjoying this video, please help me out by smashing the like button, subscribing, and then hitting the notification bell so you know when I next drop a science toy review. Now we can get onto gearbox testing. So, fully connect the power supply. Oh, I hope this works. Just switch it on with a screwdriver because I can't quite get in there. Whoa. For the next part of this kit, we're assembling the parts that hold the code wheel, which reminds me a bit of like a Stargate kind of look to it. Let's put it together and see what it looks like. That's it. The gearbox assembly process is now complete. In this part of the kit, we're putting together the parts that hold the coding wheel. And the coding wheel is what holds the instructions for telling the robot how to move. I would say it's taken about an hour to get up to this point of the build. It's a very slow kit, but it's therefore fairly good value for money as well. Pull here, and here, here, and here. Swing the head back down, go over the top, click here and here. Ha, huh. coding wheel in place. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. How the coding buttons work. So you can do right turns, 45 degree turns, 90 degree turns in different directions, forward and backward, forklift descending, you're doing a task. So the task can be putting the pen up and down or moving the forklift up and down or letting go of the football. You could build not just what's in the experiments here, but other things too. I'm gonna uh, make the drawing bot because I think um, that's the one I most wanna see. I see a robot draw on a piece of paper, um, my mind will be blown, I can't wait. Right, first of all, we need D10, D9. This is the part of the build where I'm taking the coding pieces, which are the orange pegs, and adding them onto the coding wheel. The different pegs make the robot turn left, right, go forwards, lower the pen, and put the pen back down again. I'm pretty sure you could assemble these pegs in any kind of way to do different tasks, but I'm gonna to stick to, unusually for me, what's in the instruction book. Here and here, bring down the lid, pop that there and there. Okay, I think we're ready to give it a test. I'm very cautious about this. I've got a permanent marker pen, a very small piece of A4 paper. I reckon if you let this robot run and it's gonna draw everywhere. So I have got the program ready to the point where it should be dropping the pen and then turning <laughs> so to draw a circle. Let's hope it goes. I'm gonna turn it on and see what happens. Oh dear. I missed the paper entirely. It's now dragging around. I'm gonna stop it before it draws all over my desk. This does not go as expected. <laughs> the robot did draw, but not on the paper. I think you'd need a whole desk covered in butcher's paper. Um, and probably not permanent marker pens would be my suggestion. This kit was actually really good fun. It takes a long time to assemble, not for the younger scientists, but I think a mid-aged scientist, say 12 and up, would probably enjoy making this because the parts are quite complicated. It requires following the instructions quite precisely. There's a variety of different experiments in the book and you can actually make your own by learning how the coding wheel works and attaching the plastic pieces that make the robot move left, right, up, down. The drawing was quite hard because you needed a very large surface area. Do not use a permanent marker. Luckily, everyone has alcohol spray in their house these days because of COVID, so I was able to get the permanent marker pen off of my desk. I'm gonna give the five-in-one mechanical coding robot three stars for fun, three stars for price, and three stars for learning. Bye or bye-bye. It's a bye. I loved this robot. It was great value for money at $44.99. You actually learn a lot while coding and you don't need to be in front of a screen.
If you've enjoyed this robot video, check this one out here where I assemble more mechanical robots.